Hello, this is Sean at Sean May Official, and today I wanted to go over a little bit of training. So today I want to go over the fundamentals of search engine optimization. It's going to be a short video, I just want to really go over the basics. So the first thing with search engine optimization, of course, search engine optimization is all about ranking on the first page or getting higher rankings in search engines like Google, like Bing, like Yahoo, things like that that uh, even Amazon has its own search engine. So you're just trying to rank higher. So you are really trying to get generate more traffic, you're trying to generate more brand awareness, depending on what you're trying to rank for. There's so many different things that um, you can get when you're ranking on page one, the authority, the traffic, uh, your brand awareness, things like those. But before you ever jump into search engine optimization, it, it never sounds like fun, but you have to do your research. You have to find the keywords that people are actually searching for. Because you have to, if you think about it, you're only going to show up for certain keywords. And that those keywords are what people actually, when they open up a web browser, they go to Google or whatever search engine it is, they start typing in something. Those are the keywords. Whatever they're typing, um, there's shorter keywords, and then there's what's called longer tail keywords, almost like full sentences. So whatever they're typing in, those are the things that you're going to want to rank for and show up on page one. So you show up as the top one there. So you have to do the research to know what are people actually typing into the search engines? What are they searching for in your category or niche? And then once you find out that, you have to look at your competition. You have to see what they're doing, why they're on page one. Are they an authority? Are they, um, did they do search engine optimization on the page? Are they new into the market? What do they have that's getting them rankings? And of course, there's there's tons of research on, on how you do competition analysis. And then the third one is actually, if you're gonna go through all this work, you have to have some sort of monetization technique. So how are you going to bring in revenue from those rankings? Are you gonna do it uh, as a local business? You're bringing in more clients. If you're a big brand, you're going to bring in uh, more potential long-term uh, customers, things like that. Or if you're going after affiliate marketing or reputation management, things like that. Just know how you're actually going to bring in revenue by doing all this work. So the application and how do you actually start looking at ranking a page on the search engines, on page one of the search engines. And like I was mentioning before, it depends on the type of site that you're trying to rank for. Is it a local business site? Is it a product site? Is it an Amazon site? Is it an e-commerce site? Depending on what type of site it is, you're going to rank it differently, uh, especially local businesses compared to pretty much any e-commerce thing like that. So there's what's called on-page um, SEO. And on page is the way that you set up your website. Is it a WordPress blog? Uh, if it is a blog, how do you set up your posts compared to web pages? And what are things like your meta description, your title of your site? Because the search engines want to know what type of site it actually is. What is the category? What are the topics? What are you actually talking about? Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to give the best user experience to the person that is going to their search engine typing in results. Because if they're not getting good results, then people will stop using them. So they're always looking for the best user optimization. So there's an algorithm that looks at what's on page to make sure that it is very it relates to that topic and those keywords that they were typing in. Then off page, which there's a ton of things that's go into this as well, uh, backlinking, social, uh, social stacking, things like that, where if your site is brand new, it doesn't really have the authority um, that it needs to have in the search engine's eyes. So it doesn't have that trust and authority. And I'll actually get into that in the next slide as well. But you need to have good backlinks. And of course, Google um, is one that always changes their algorithm over time on what are good backlinks, what is a good off-page optimization for a site for it to rank. And the good thing is, um, if you follow along with what Google's saying, uh, it wants the best user optimization, uh, then you can really follow along with what type of backlinking and off-page optimization you need to do. Next one, and you've probably heard it, if you've heard about search engine optimization, you've probably heard the term PBN thrown around 
every now and then. So a private blog network. And so what this does is it really allows you to boost your quote unquote money site, that site that you want to rank on page one much quicker because you can do everything very naturally. And that's how um, a lot of businesses and, and websites do it. But if you want to get there quicker and really show up in the search results for certain keywords, you're going to need something like a PBN where you have different websites kind of in the background. They could be self-hosted sites, WordPress sites, uh, websites that you've um, had for a little while, or they could be web 2.0 sites and social media sites, things like that. They all work together to boost up your money site quicker. And it can get a little complicated, but all I want you to know is it, Google looks at what the authority of that PBN is, and if that if there's good trust authority and actual like domain authority and there's other words for it uh, trust flow citation flow domain authority uh, page authority things like that if those are all good metrics and then they're pointing so linking to your money site then google sees oh well there must um this other site must have that trust and authority as well or else they wouldn't be getting those high quality links and then social is huge social is bigger than ever right now Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, things like that. So you have to have those type of links and those type of pages set up that will also link to your main money site. So this is really just the general overview of the fundamentals of search engine optimization. Of course, if I went into every detail of how you're going to rank on page one in this video, it would be hours and hours and hours. And that's why I wanted to give you a uh, a place to go to really get all this information to sign up for page one engine because it really does have not only all the information and training on how to rank a page but it also has different business models of how to monetize each type of way that you can use search engine optimization for it goes through everything and i and i have another uh, a full kind of review and different bonuses that i'm giving away as well if you do join page one engine I highly recommend it. It's a great product. I've gone through the product. Um, I was a part of the charter program, so I definitely give it two thumbs up. So make sure you go to this link and there'll be a link below this video as well that you can go look at that full review and other videos that I've created as well for page one engine. But I hope this was at least useful getting your brain wrapped around kind of the fundamentals of SEO and what you can use it for. Once again, this is Sean at Sean Me Official and we'll talk to you soon.